Good morning, everyone. My name is John Piggott, and I'm the director of the ARC Center of Excellence in Population Aging Research, or CPAR. My great pleasure to welcome you um, all here today, and in welcoming you, I'd like to acknowledge and celebrate the first Australians on whose traditional lands we meet and pay respect to the elders of the Ngunnawal people, past and present. One of CPAR's goals is to increase understanding of the causes and consequences of demographic change, not only at the level of research, but also in the wider community. So today is designed to focus not just on the IGR itself, but to see it as a reflection of some of the profound social and economic changes that our country is going to experience over the next decades. I'm looking forward to a stimulating and constructive morning. Australia was one of the first countries to publish an official IGR and it continues to lead the way in promoting awareness of the social and economic consequences of changes in demographic structure and especially the ageing of the baby boomers. Often this is cast just as a challenge and it's surely that, but it's an immense opportunity as well. A few housekeeping matters. First, please turn your mobile phones off or onto silent. Second, there's going to be opportunities for Q&A through the morning, including with the Treasurer. And there are two roving mics on the lower level and a fixed mic upstairs. Please identify yourself and your affiliation when you ask a question and please keep the questions short and succinct. Finally, at morning tea in the Jager room just out here, um, Peter MacDonald, who's Professor of Demography at ANU and CPAR's Deputy Director, will demonstrate CPAR's new online database. This is designed to foster better informed research and analysis about population aging, and once it's road tested, will be freely available from the CPAR website for academe, government, and the community generally. <laughs> 